so what I'm going to do now is demonstrate the use of a hydrometer. Um, let us note that a hydrometer is designed to measure the specific gravity of a liquid. And since there's many liquids with various specific gravities, we actually have a whole set of hydrometers. Um, you know, they're going to range um, from about 0.7. Now keep in mind, specific gravity is just the ratio of the, uh, the liquid's density uh, divided by the density of water. Um, but nonetheless, this one goes from like 0.700 up to 0.800. And, you know, this next one is going to go from 0 0.800 to 0 0.900, et cetera, et cetera. Now, I'm just going to show how to use the one for gasoline. Um, I filled this uh, small cylinder with gasoline up about two thirds of the way. If you put it more, then the bulb of the hydrometer is going to cause it to overflow. So basically, I know that the specific gravity of gasoline is somewhere around 0.75, more or less. So I'm using the hydrometer in the 0.7 to 0.8 range. And all you do is simply drop it in, you know, make sure it's not tight, it's, it's free to float. Uh, we want to make sure that it actually doesn't hit the bottom, which it does not. So it's basically floating. And then um, we just look at the meniscus of the gasoline and we see where it crosses the scale. And this one is actually hitting at, let's see, it's between 30 and 40, which is actually the 0 0.03, 0 0.04. So it's actually at about 0.737. So the specific gravity of this particular gasoline is 0.737. And that's all you have to do. Now, when you're using diesel fuel, uh, diesel fuel is a little bit more dense than gasoline. It's in the 0.8 maybe about 0 0.83, 0 0.84, somewhere in that range. So we just make sure that we use the appropriate hydrometer that's in the right range. Um, of course, we'll fill this up with diesel fuel and put the hydrometer in and just read it the same way, right? Look at the meniscus, see where it crosses the scale and make that recording.